to Rose Gamings. As you can tell, <laughs> we are in a different thing. So, I got the mod, the Fairies vs. Witches mod, by spinning Glum Bob Bobs, <laughs> and I'm addicted. <laughs> so, I have, I made a video, um, that you guys probably saw, um, I did like a fantasy, you know, where each sim was a different mythical creature. So we had a fairy, a mermaid, a witch, um, a werewolf, and a vampire. Um, so in this one, I am doing a fairy family. So, let me show you the house. So I built it. Um, it's not how I wanted it to go, but not that good at building yet because I don't really build. <laughs> so we got this little pool here, this little pool. Um, I didn't even really want a pool. I just wanted water. Um, I got I did get some like fairy CC. But not a lot because I didn't have that much. So I got these mushrooms, these little wooden things, a fairy door, fairy windows. Um, then we got this. Then we got the little um, kneeling fairies. Then we have more mushrooms. Um, I got the kneeling stat. Uh, the giving, oh, the giving fairy, oh my god, the helping fairy, or whatever it's called, the statue. Got some birds, a bird feeder. We got two fairy rings. We got a little garden here. And this is just a little thing I haven't really used. So, yeah, there's that. And then it's not that. <laughs> much inside so we got we got <laughs> the toilet in the sink right there I didn't really want to build any walls right there because the stairs this is the only where place I can put the stairs and I got flowers um Zipper down here, I got these little lights for a CC too. Then the little kitchen area. Then up here, we got their bedroom. Sometimes they sleep in their bed. Um, we got three um, things because she is pregnant. She's in her third trimester, so she should be giving birth soon. They are having a girl. And the shower is up here because it didn't fit downstairs. Um, so yeah, she, like I said, is nine months pregnant, and for some reason, she's very angry. And her power source is electricity, uh -huh. which you just saw. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, she's gonna have to calm down. Um, he's sleeping in there, but his power source is the moon. Yeah. 
his power source is the moon, hers is electricity, and <laughs> we're gonna have each kid be the different power sources. So, so far, if you have a radio, you can get three power sources from here, but once they have a power source, you can't change it unless you get well he can because he's um watch let's see so if i were to cheat this up it has to be a full so if you go to the giving pair the you have to choose perk this right here you only get it once but when you're on level two of your fairy farm and you can erase your power source and get a new one so yeah there's that <laughs> Enchanted one. Oh. So I'll show you her stuff that she learned so far. And she is higher than him because I literally just turned him. He was a spellcaster at first, but then I was like Turn him into a fairy. <laughs> what are you doing? So you get Pixie, Nymph, Mythical, and then Enchanted Fae. So she's an Enchanted Fae. The next one is Aethril Guardian. Um, oh shit. <laughs> I to show you what spells she learned. So yeah, basing on type of power source they have, they can develop, um, spells faster, depending, like, so she was in nature at first, and her guarding skill went up pretty fast, um, and she got some, um, spells unlocked before the level, so her magical abilities, so yeah, um, this is the re resigned power source, um, so if you don't want the power source that you first had, you can only use this once and you can't get it back. I mean, you can try going back to be an M5, I doubt it's gonna work. Level-headed, um, so level-headed Sam doesn't allow strong emotions to influence your magic and will not lose control of it. Studiosis. A studios fairy is adapted to the art of gathering knowledge. They learn spells and earn magic skill at a fast rate. Magic mentor. Magic mentors are great at giving instructions. They can teach lesser fairies how to use their powers and help them learn spells. Teleportation. Get from one place to another in a fraction of the time. Ten times in style. Ten times in style. So for your magical abilities, you have to be like a certain 
fairy form. So like these, it says requires a guardian fairy form or myth mythical to for, na for nature fairies. And this one just requires require the guardian fairy. So yeah, then you get, she has the fairy dust. And then you get the muse and then healing dust. So she only needs three, four more. Um, and her spells. She has ivy wrap, that it tickles them in a grip, in a thing, you know. As Santa or whatever uses ancient enchantment to reduce the several severity of illnesses and elevate any uncomfortable symptoms. Then flora militis infused plants with the uh, blah, blah. <laughs> Biality they need to thrive. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna read it more because I'm like talking too fast. So yeah, um those are hers that she's learned. She just learned this one. And then she has Surge, Frost, Epics, that one, and then there's a lot more to show, but she has this one too. So yeah. So watch. So, if you don't want to use cheats, that's fine. But for her to, for your fairy to be able to learn a new thing, the orb has to be, I mean, it could be about right here, but if you, you're going to wait for them to read, and it slowly goes up. So if you don't want to wait that long, you just put it to at least somewhere right here. And then you go to the handbook, you go to learn spells, and you get these. So because she has, do you like these ones? So Maya needs either at least level eight magic deal or the water power source ones. So if they have this certain power source, they can unlock it already without going to the ones that you actually need. Um, so she can actually learn a lot. So... It kind of just all depends if you want them to learn all of them. So when that happens, they'll sit down, read, and then it goes up. Then you get, then you get a notification saying that they learned the spell, and then it will be drained back. So if you don't want to um, do the cheat, you have them practice their magic and just wait for it to get halfway up. That's pretty much it. And then depending on their power source, their like how hers is blue. So if you're nature, you're green. I think his is just white. Well, check. <laughs> so, 
so it's just like I'm not expecting that, but yeah. Whoa! See, it slowly goes up. So yeah. I just use my cheeks because I get tired of doing it unless it's like hung uh, hunger hygiene. Not hygiene, energy. Another thing you can do So he'll hover over here but because she's pregnant she actually walks Unless I just teleport her here Like that <laughs> So we can do like a little battle. They can't a bottle. Guess not. Well, that soaks. Oh. 
That's cool. So Maya has converged her magic with another element and senses the energy of the moon flowing through her. Until the conference ends, Maya will experience the benefits of the moon power source as well as some other potential effects. That's cool. Zip zap. <laughs> That's cool. So I guess you can do that. Skiba <laughs> Supa. Trying to look over. Ooh. I just don't have any. Fia. Fayette. Fayette.
Sorry guys, I just went very <laughs> quiet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Honestly, I cannot wait till they're um it begins a child. Cause that's when they get the train. And he's flying. end it here because honestly I just <sighs> something else really to do except just try just keep practicing your magic and it's getting very boring so I wanted to introduce this gameplay and then show you about it um I will be back when 
Fea is a child. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye bye. Thank you.